Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. The ammo world right now is a disaster far greater than 2012. We have always seen uh, inclines and declines in supply with ammo, but this one seems to be lasting for a long time, like over eight months. And there are many reasons why this is happening. We look at the components that it takes to make the ammo near impossible to find. You know, I've always said when reloaders can't get their supplies, the rest of us are in trouble. And that is certainly the case. And it's been that way. We look at fear, fear of, you know, the, the pandemic, the control of virus. We look at the fear of the riots. We look at all the new gun owners. We look at the ammo companies who are working 24 seven and hiring new staff and training them to produce ammo. All of that is playing a factor. But in my last ammo video, I talked about, you know, fear where you have grown men who are waiting outside of big box stores, local gun stores, because they know when the shipment is coming in. Okay, perhaps it could be a Wednesday at 7 a.m. and they're out there waiting in line where so many other people are either at work or getting ready for work or attending to their families or other responsibilities. Others are waiting in line to get that ammo. Now, a, a hoarder or a reseller is somebody who does not necessarily buy the ammo for the firearms that they own. They are people who will go out and buy every box of ammo, whether they could use it or not. I had no problem with somebody picking up a box or two for their buddy who has a certain gun in that chambering. But when people lay out their credit card and buy everything available for the sole purpose of reselling it, they, they are worse and cheaper than dirt. And many of these would be the same people who said, I would never buy from cheaper than dirt. You know, we get upset with the online ammo companies. Gouging is at an all time high, but there are opportunists out there, many of which I would guess probably don't even own a gun, but they, they see an opportunity to make money, big money right now, because people are afraid that they won't be able to get the ammo they want. They won't be able to replace what they shoot. And many people have new gun owners new guns a lot of new gun owners and I started thinking well the new gun owners are not going out and buying 308 they're not buying 45 70 30 odd 6 30 30 and many of the other rifle rounds so why is there a shortage there and many people commented to me the problem is that these people are going out and buying huge lots of ammo every box they could possibly purchase for the sole purpose of reselling it at massive prices. And so I went out to GunBroker and I started looking at this. Now on GunBroker, you can see a bit of the history of many of the people who sell there. You can see the ratings. You can see the comments. When you have people who have very few ratings and comments, they're new to GunBroker, I'm I'm pretty darn sure that these are people who are waiting in that line, slapping a credit card down, buying everything they can for the sole purpose of making money. Now, I have no problem with making money, and every time I do a cheaper than dirt video, who I despise, by the way, people say that that's a capitalistic society and you should just accept it. People are willing to pay for it. Don't worry about it. But I support capitalism. But I don't support companies like Levi's, Cheaper Than Dirt, Dick Sporting Goods, and so many other anti-gun companies. I put these people in the same category. There's a difference between capitalism and then supporting companies. Like many of you people would say, I would never go into to Dick Sporting Goods. I would never buy from Cheaper Than Dirt. I would never wear Levi's and so many other anti-gun companies. It is a capitalistic business, but... We don't support them. Well, I don't support these people who go out and buy massive lots of ammo for the sole purpose of reselling it, driving up the price and creating a business. Like this is a business for them. Most people have a family to attend to. They have jobs to be at. They can't go wait in line, say a Wednesday at 7 a.m. They, they can't do that. So they go online to try to get the ammo they want. Everybody understands that we're going to pay a little bit more. 
but the, these people, these resellers are really taking a toll on the ammo shortage. And they are also driving up the price. Now, if people are willing to pay it, fine. If people are willing to, to you know, pay outrageous prices, go on to gun broker and do all this, fine. And that may be okay with them, but it's not okay with me. I find it anti-2A. And the rest of us who are trying to limp along this ammo shortage is finding it more and more difficult the longer it goes on. Yes, there are a lot of new shooters out there. They're, they're probably buying 9mm, maybe 380. They're not buying 308, but yet you can't find 308. And when you do, it's incredibly priced thanks to these resellers who are really screwing over the market. I'm hoping that eventually we can all get out of this with the ammo we need before these outrageous taxes will be headed our way. And yes, that does fall right back into the category of fear, which is driving a lot of this shortage. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.